again with another video review for you today I'm talking about this rifle it's a Wellcat 22 caliber FX and the price of this rifle is 1200 synthetic stock uh, first, first inspect, impre, impression about this rifle as soon as you grab it you, it feels so smooth it's not one of those hard plastics rifle that you touch and feels so you know hard uh, this one feels really good on the sides it's pretty it's pretty light it's not that heavy uh, probably around five or probably five pounds around I'm not sure about that but important things about this rifle for a $1,200 you have a regulator air gun it's pretty accurate uh, you can you can load this rifle you can put pressure on it uh, 230 bars they recommend to bring up your pressure no more than 250 and it's regulated things about this rifle you can have a hundred bars and you gonna be super close from the same place or the same shot place if you have 230 because it's regulated it's regulated you know variations some of the shots you can see a little movements some of the shots are gonna stay in the same hole but for the price of this rifle you wanna have a lot of goodies and it does have a lot of goodies uh, it's easy to load to put your air on you're gonna move your fill, pro, your fill port and just put the fill probe in there uh, it's super hand, uh, hand pump friendly I'm sorry and I love it parts that I have it I have already a month with this rifle and I keep working with it with the scope and other things uh, trigger let's talk about the trigger it's super smooth I haven't done anything yet on the trigger because I'm super happy just with a factory just how it comes uh, feels smooth and here's your safety it's so easy cock action is right here as you can see it's so easy to cock it and have so many goodies that I can tell you and for the price that's what you're looking for things that I don't like about this rifle well couple couple things it's not it's not super super loud but it's not super quiet so I will recommend it for a backyard but keep in mind where all chains all the changes can be depends where you live if you live like a backyard like me I have no complaints yet from my neighbors but if you live at places around the city or your yard is small it's loud it's loud for a small yard and if you have your neighbors are really close from you it's loud anyways other things that I don't like from this rifle or I mean things that I will change from this rifle is this magazines are only eight shots magazines and I will be happy with something for this price probably at least 10 shots 12 shots that's what I expect when I bought this rifle but I mean after that it's so easy to load uh, so so easy to carry in your pocket it's nothing else than a spring inside here and these two little pins ball pins right there you just slide it in you're ready to go but another thing that I don't like or I don't I'm not happy with this rifle is this if you take a look closer look 
on this magazine. This magazine doesn't have anything that I can that can let you know when you're out of out of shots or out of bullets. So I will recommend to you if you're gonna get this rifle. This is my personal idea. I grab some paint and I paint the back of my magazine and I make another mark right around here so I try to match when I put my magazine inside here I try to match those two lines that I put and well that way I can find out when I'm out of shots and I don't waste my air because I don't really recommend shot your rifle without bullets just shooting air because that probably can cause a damage inside the rifle and you don't want to do any damage on these kind of rifles you pay a lot of money for this rifle and I believe it's a lot of money to fix these kind of rifles so you gotta take care of your rifle pretty good uh, those are the bad things about this rifle I'm super happy with the rifle uh, it's easy to carry you can see right here have these two holes if you hold this rifle uh, this rifle is so light uh, you can work out with a tripod you can the tripod is not coming with the rifle and all you need to do is put it in and so many things that you can do with this rifle uh, you can remo remove this this is half shot it's not full shot you can remove it, take it off, and show you. Do so much work with, with that. Probably you can put uh, one of those Donnie's FL, whatever it's called, one of those suppressors here on the tip. And I do my own suppressor, but that's something that I'm gonna show you in another video. It's quiet, it's accurate, it's not, gonna, it's not changing anything. And it's super cheap. <laughs> I'm talking about three dollars a pressure, probably. But that's gonna be another video. So pretty much you can do a lot of things with this rifle. Far as that I know, your air tank, your air right here, is not removable. Far as that I know, I recommend guys. I really recommend for your own safety. If you're gonna work out something in your rifle, please take it to somebody to really, really knows what to do. Cause it's dangerous, it's really dangerous. You have 300, probably 300 bars all the way up. If you fill it up all the way up, I don't recommend that. They supposed, you're supposed to fill it up no more than 230. But some people do all the things. Well, if you're gonna take this, rifling part make sure you have no air inside this tank or at least the best shot take it to a place a certificate place that you can feel comfortable when you they put your rifle bag together or just for your own safety that's my recommendations guys so things that I can tell you about this rifle I love this rail they put on top of the rifle and it's a righty rifle it's not for lefty people I'm a lefty guy so it's kind of uncomfortable right here because they put this rifle show you and this way they build so it's a smooth right here, this smooth thing right here. I forgot to tell you, it's a Wildcat MK2. So, that's one thing, sorry guys about that. But, it's so easy to work with this. I see already in Amazon or eBay, one of those, they have the parts to make it a lefty rifle. but. I think the parts are probably $50, but I'm, that's gonna be the next step. But I'm really happy with this rifle. This, this rifle is capable, no more than 75 yards. 
you can probably have a shot and a hundred yards, but but it's not an FX impact. So FX have a lot of goodies in this rifle, but those FX you can see videos shooting a hundred yards, probably 110. Those are pretty good. But this rifle, I don't think, or at least. I tried so many times to get a shot on 100 yards and the bullseye, they're close, they're close but they pretty much everywhere around a dime. Now we're probably, if you put it a penny size, they're probably all around the penny size. Well, I'm happy with that but you're not going to have all the time a bullseye inside that hole. You know, you're not going to start so many shots inside you know at least if you go to the indoor range 100 yards indoor i don't ever i ever never see one of those around but outdoor i'm gonna make for you guys the most realistic and you know review i'm not getting paid for this once again that i said this in every single video because so many people out there is making videos and they're getting paid pay for that so they're never gonna tell you so many things about a rifle. I pay this rifle with my own money. I save almost for six months all my savings that I have, extra savings for this rifle. And I have it here, I wanna share these guys to you. Cause before you buy something, I will recommend to look out, see a lot, from other people, hear a lot from other people, uh, you know, make a big search because this rifle, as soon as you buy, it's really hard to return it. Uh, companies make probably a lot of complaints to get give you your money back, or I don't know what is the situation. I never returned a rifle before, but that's what I really recommend, guys. Uh, do the best before you buy. Uh, call people if you need to. Don't feel bad or don't feel uncomfortable. You, so many websites out there, and I know if you got call a website or you talk to a person, you know, a store or whatever, they're probably gonna try to sell you this rifle. So I recommend the best way to find out about a rifles or this rifle or whatever you wanna buy is take a look. Take a look before you do anything, before you spend your money, because money's hard to get. No matter the way that you get it, it's hard to get money. So, guys, I do this because I love it. I try to help people, and I want to help people out there. I want you to guys have fun in a safety ways. So, next thing that I'm going to talk about uh, this rifle. This rifle loves so many pellets. Like, as far as you guys know, rifles air rifles are picky with the pellets but once again can't believe this the one that I get more accuracy from is not one of those JSB or another brands it's a cheap one again and it's a Crossman Domet Ultra Ultra Magnum 14.3 uh, grains and I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna put a video after my review and my in this video I'm gonna put a, another video so you can see here right here you guys between those two 16 shots uh, eight shots and eight shots uh, right here the wind was blowing about probably 10 miles per hour so was you can see a little movements around right here is a with probably five to six miles per hour shots and you can see all in the same hole this is a penny size uh, target so guys it's accurate you gotta work with this be careful when you're cleaning this rifle because this this rifle is a beauty and be careful you don't do any damage on your barrel and all of those things guys uh, any question guys however I'm open to 
answer you a question if you want me to make you a personal video review or you want me to t uh, make a video uh, hey Manny uh, how this is work and if I know how that work I will do it for you and if I know how to help you and I can help you or I can help you I will suggest another person or whoever I can reach to give you a hand because this is a brother things this is for me to you guys uh, probably I don't speak the best English ever I'm trying to guys but I'm trying to help wherever I can and I want you to guys have a lot of fun uh, thank you for watching all, all once again thank you for your support and please share please like please comment uh, whatever you don't like comment I don't care I'm, I'm trying to be almost 24 7 on my on my YouTube channel to see what you guys are comments and answer your questions like your que your comments and that's the way it's supposed to be okay guys thanks a lot once again this is Manny another video review for you guys and whatever you guys need All right thank you fellas This is the first A shot out of this rifle at 30 yards without any adjustment on the scope. The time between each shot is the time to take me to cut the rifle and shoot again. I'm doing this smoothly because I don't want to do any damage on the rifle. But it's super easy to do it. Then the wind was blowing about six to ten miles per hour, so that's what you get. That's without any adjustment. But now I'm gonna show you a last of time. Well, you're gonna see after this shot. How long take me to put a shot? A bullet inside the magazine and then put the magazine back into the rifle and then I do a couple adjustments on the scope make sure my air is good and you guys are gonna see the difference between each shot and all the bullseye and stacking all the pellets on the same hole pretty much and just to let you know again the size of that target is a penny size so I put a penny right behind it and you can tell the rest as you can see I stack a couple shots in the same hole and then you're gonna see a couple shots inside the penny size target those was about five shots in the same place pretty much probably that's what you get out of this rifle guys this is the realistic review and realistic video so thank you for watching guys